Oh, hi. Are you ready? Good. So am I, because now we are learning GIS with Anna. That's me. And welcome to Learn GIS like it's 2025 as well. A lot of GIS content out there is fantastic, but let's be honest, old school and outdated. And now we want to learn with modern concepts and modern tools. And that's what we are here to do. And we are going to go to the term of GIS very shortly, so hang tight. But let's first talk a bit about you and me. So you might be at whatever point of your GIS journey, you might be already a bit more advanced or most likely you are a beginner like me. So the point of this is that I will take you with me on my learning GIS journey. So you will be learning at the same time as me because I am super new to GIS. I started working with GIS only a couple of months ago, but I have learned a bunch already of all the cool concepts, of all the cool ways to run analysis, visualize data, make maps. It's so cool to make maps. So all of this, I will walk you through in this course and so much more. But okay, so what, what does GIS actually mean even? GIS means a geographic information systems, which is a tool or a software where you can capture, analyze and visualize spatial data. So in normal person terms, it means a software where you can make maps and analyze geographic information, such as store locations for retail, for example. There are so many industries where you can use GIS. I think the most common ones are like urban design, which is the most connected to location. But then again, every industry that has anything to do with location data has something to do with GIS or should have something to do with GIS, such as renewable energy or retail, like I already mentioned. So there are so many different ways uh, to utilize this. So if you have anything to do with location in your work, you can advantage of GIS. So buckle up, we are in for a ride and make sure that you keep watching Learn GIS with Anna. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.